We want to know how neurons communicate with one another, so we start by looking at how communication occurs within a single neuron. One means by which signals can traverse the space of a single neuron is through local changes in a cell's membrane potential. To record a neuron's membrane potential, it is necessary to position the tip of one recording electrode inside the neuron and the tip of another recording electrode outside the neuron in the extracellular fluid. The difference in charge between the interior and exterior of a cell is the membrane potential. When both electrode tips are in the extracellular fluid, the voltage difference between them is zero. When the tip of one of the electrodes, the intracellular electrode, is inserted into the neuron, a steady membrane potential of about negative 70 millivolts is recorded. This steady membrane potential of about negative 70 millivolts is called the neuron's resting membrane potential. In this resting state, with the negative 70 millivolt charge built up across its membrane, the neuron is said to be polarized. The negative sign on the voltmeter indicates that there are more negative charges inside the neuron than outside the neuron. Let's take a closer look at what is causing this resting membrane potential. Like all salts in solution, the salts in neural tissue separate into positively and negatively charged particles, called ions. There are many different kinds of ions in neurons, but this tutorial focuses on just two of them, sodium ions and potassium ions. In resting neurons, there are more sodium ions outside the cell than inside the cell, and more potassium ions inside the cell than outside the cell. Why is there this unequal distribution? There are four reasons for this unequal distribution. The first reason is because of the differential permeability of the cell membrane to potassium versus sodium ions. There are specialized pores, called ion channels, in neural membranes through which ions can pass. Each type of ion channel is specialized for the passage of particular ions, for example, sodium ions or potassium ions. At the resting membrane potential, the sodium ion channels are resistant to the passage of sodium ions. By contrast, the potassium ion channels offer little resistance to the passage of potassium. The second and third reasons for the resting membrane polarization has to do with the substantial pressure that exists for ions to enter or leave the cell. This pressure is of two types. The first type of pressure is electrostatic pressure. Electrostatic pressure results from the tendency for opposite charges to attract and like charges to repel. Because opposite charges attract, the negative 70 millivolt charge inside the cell attracts positively charged sodium and potassium ions. So, there is pressure for sodium ions and potassium ions to move into the cell. The second sort of pressure that exists is the pressure for the sodium and potassium ions to move down their concentration gradients. Due to random motion, ions will tend to move from areas where they are highly concentrated to areas where they are in low concentration. Sort of like what happens when you place a drop of food coloring in a bathtub. So, there is pressure for sodium ions to move into the cell and for potassium ions to move out of the cell, down their concentration gradients. Despite these two sorts of pressures on sodium ions, few of them actually enter the cell as, if you recall, the sodium ion channels are largely impermeable at the resting membrane potential, though a few do manage to get through. Well, that's three reasons for the resting membrane polarization so far. The fourth reason explains what happens to those few sodium ions that do manage to enter the cell. They are removed by an ion transporter in the membrane known as the sodium-potassium pump. The sodium-potassium pump consumes cellular energy to continually exchange three sodium ions inside the neuron for two potassium ions outside the neuron. So, taken together, those are the four reasons for the resting membrane potential.